Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. For the function f, f of 0 is equal to 86 and for each increase in x by 1, the value of f of x decreases by 80 percentage. What is the value of f of 2? Every time when we increase the value of x by 1, so the value of f of x uh, at that instant decreases by 80 percentage. So the given situation clearly shows it's an exponential decay. Okay, so the function usually, the general form of a function uh, which represents exponential decay is a times 1 negative r to the power x. Here I'm using negative sign because it's exponential decay. If it is exponential growth, instead of negative sign, I would use positive sign over here. And a is the initial value of f of x. That is the value of f of x when x is equal to 0. In this case, the value of f of x when x is equal to 0 is 86. So the 86 is the value of a. And r is the decay rate. So here the decay rate means that rate or the percentage at which f of x decrease, the value of f of x at that instant decreases. Okay, now what we can do is uh, f of x equals to the value of a is uh, the value of f, it's a value, a is the value of f of x when x is equal to zero. From the given information, uh, the value of f of x when x is equal to zero is 86. Then we can plug in 86 for a and one negative r is the rate of decay. So from the given information, 80 percentage is the rate of decay, but we have to write this 80 percentage as a decimal. So to write this 80 percentage as a decimal, we have to write this 80 percentage as a fraction. So whenever I write percentage of fraction, the denominator will be 100. When I divide 80 by 100, it will be 0 0.8. So the rate of decay is 0 0.8 to the power x. Okay, now I got the exponential decay function, which connected to the information we have on the problem. So according to the question, I have to find the value of f of 2. That means here in this f of x, I have to plug in x equals to 2. On the right side also, I have to plug in x equals to 2. So let me plug in x equals to 2 over here. And I'm getting 86 times 1 negative 0 0.8 to the power 2. So f of 2 is equal to 86 times. When I simplify this 1 negative 0 0.8, it will be 0 0.2 to the power of 2. So now uh, f of 2 is equal to 86 times. When I take square for this 0 0.2, it will become 0 0.04. So f of 2 is equal to, when I multiply this 86 by 0 0.04, I'm getting 3.44. So the value of f of 2 is 3.44.